Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today <laughs> we're doing somewhat of a collection slash declutter video. Um, yeah, I just, I'm having a, a bit of a weekend, a bit of a day, and um, I don't really want to go into it right now, but uh, I spent Saturday, or a lot of Saturday, in the ER, so um, I don't feel like getting in front of the camera. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's mostly fine, um, but it's just, it's been a bit of a time. So I just kind of feel like swatching stuff and looking at stuff, but not really putting it on my face. So I thought we would go through my blushes and bronzers and highlighters and just kind of swatch and maybe get rid of some stuff if I have some dupes. Um, but I'm, you know... I kind of struggle the most with bl blushes are like my weakness, okay? So I'm I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to get rid of anything. But I'm 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 trying. I'm trying, okay? Um I have a few things over here I need to get out, but anyway, uh all of my organizers are from TJ Maxx except for this one that you can't see, but except for this one on the end, I got that one from Hot Look. It's just a little separated divider. Um, but yes, the rest of them I got at TJ Maxx. So uh, I think we will start with my blushes. And I will talk a little bit about the formula and which ones I really, really like and things like that. Um, but first we're going to start with my uh, Laura Geller blushes, which are one of my favorite formulas. So let's start with those. The first one I have is Lychee Rose, which is a really, really pretty summer blush. Now these are a baked formula and they are so, so pretty. And this looks way more intense than it actually is on the cheeks, which I mean, it's still a pretty intense blush, but Anyway, that's Lychee Rose. I really like that one. And it is like kind of a, a pinky peach, which I really like. The next one is Apricot Berry, which looks like Jupiter in the pan. <laughs> this one I would may say is more like a, um, a fall blush to me. It focus yeah it has a lot more of those like rich terracotta type tones in it it's really pretty now okay <laughs> these next two don't judge me for um the next one is roseberry and it is a kind of mauvey pink you'll see why i said don't judge me rosy pink. That one's real pretty. It's another one that I would consider like a fall blush. It's more muted, more cool toned. Here's why you shouldn't judge me. This one is Catalina. This one is a mauvey pink. Look how similar they are within the same brand. Like... Roseberry is just a little more pink, but they look really similar on the cheeks. Um, I don't need them both, but I'm keeping them both because I like Laura Geller formula so much. Sorry. Like, they're just so pretty. Uh, I really shouldn't keep them both. Hmm. I don't know. I might... They just fit so neatly in that spot. I might... I'm going to wait and compare and see if I have any other shades that are like also super similar. But we'll see. Um, next I have 
the uh, Anastasia blush trio in pool party which looks like this sorry uh, it's got like a taupey shade a hot not hot pink but like a baby pink no nah, it's kind of hot pink with like gold glitter in it and then a peachy shade found this at TJ Maxx for super cheap let me get it for you. I'm going to kind of leave the swatches on my hand so I can more easily compare shades. Those are those three. Yeah. That last one didn't swatch great. I'm also doing it through the viewfinder, but... Anyway, those are those three. I really haven't used this. I mean, again, it's super new. I haven't used it that much. But uh, the time I did use it, I liked it. So I need to test this out more. I do like that uh, the neutral shade a lot. I've really been liking neutral blush. Next, I have all my Milani baked blushes. So buckle up. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, Dulce Pink, which this one I might toss because it's really, the pigmentation just hasn't been there when I've tried to pick it up on the blu blush, on the brush, and like even on my, like look at that, it's like just not there at all. I don't know, it's just like, just not very pigmented. Then I have um, Berry Amore, which I picked up because of the Tayla, and it is more of like a um, a neutral sheen. I like that one pretty well. Those colors like aren't the best on me, but me, it's okay. Then I have Bella Bellini, which this one was my favorite for a long time. I don't know that the swatches all of my arm are going to work, so. Anyway, Bella Bellini, which is more pink toned uh, than Luminoso, which is going to be the next one, but it's like a pinky gold. See, that one's quite pigmented. But you can definitely tell, like, these baked blushes versus the Laura Geller baked blushes. Uh, they don't hold a candle to the Laura Geller. And this, of course, is Luminoso, which is a lot more orange. I think Bella Bellini is a lot more like NARS Orgasm, but... Luminoso is so much more like creamsicle, you know? But I've been loving um, these. I've been using the technique I saw on Safia Nygaard's channel when she was talking about Japanese beauty, where you bring the blush, like, all the way up to, like, your um, lower lash line, basically, like, under your eyes. And I've been liking these really glowy baked blushes for that because they are more of just a wash of color than just like a super pigmented blush. So I've, I've been really liking these glowy summery blushes for that. I do think, however, I will toss uh, Dolce Pink, Dolce Pink, or I might see, eh, I might see if someone, one of the kids in the youth group wants it <laughs> because they can use, you know, these less pigmented colors without getting in trouble with their parents. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just not enough for me, you know? So, that's one down. So that's something. Alright, next... I have one in the back from Buxom, which this is a limited edition uh, blush in Intoxicate. And this one is pretty similar to NARS Orgasm. 
It's another one of those like peachy, ooh, sorry, peachy shades. Again though, like the, I don't know if this has hard pan or what. It's pretty though. But the pigment is not uh, amazing. So I don't know if I need to just like scrub it. I don't know. I haven't really used it. But it's also limited edition. I'm going to compare it to another. I'm going to leave it out and compare it to another shade that I have. Uh, and see in a minute. So next I have my two hourglass blushes. Uh, I have the ambient lighting powder, sorry, ambient lighting blush in mood exposure, which is so pretty. I can't wait for fall because I can wear it. It's one of those blushes that looks like nothing in the pan and nothing really. Well, actually, it does look like something in a swatch, but it's it just doesn't look impressive in a swatch. But man, is that pretty on the cheeks. Such a good fall blush. Love it. I really want some more from them, but they are expensive. Then I have um, Ethereal Glow, which is a pinky, very light blush. Even even a bit light for me, but I really like to use that one as a topper over very, very light blushes, because again, it's almost more um, of the setting powder than blush, and it's very light, but um, there are some things I like that one for, so. It was a little lighter than I expected, but that's fine. This is Balm Beach by The Balm, which again is one of those like neutral blushes that I've really been liking. The Balm has some really good blushes, and the first time I bought a blush from them, I kind of bought <laughs> the wrong shade for me, but this is a really nice neutral blush and it's almost bronzy on me but it has just enough pink just enough so then I have the Tarte Parte blush which of course was the birthday gift last year it's kind of similar how similar <laughs> very similar it's so similar to Balm Beach like identical similar at least off camera it might have the very very slightest uh more more pinkiness to it but they're they're basically the same color <laughs> um i might give that one away i'm gonna give tart away i'm gonna give tart away it was a free gift and um you know I already have Balm Beach that I actually bought, and someone else can enjoy that, so. There we go. Progress. It's something, you guys. Um, then I have the Jouer Blush Duo in Adore. This is so pretty, and I love it, and it's beautiful, and it's another, like, nude blush that is the same <laughs> as the last two. Like, it's the same color. Okay, it's not exactly the same color, but it's super similar. Especially that second one is basically the same color, but um, I still really, really love it. And it's fine. It's fine. Um, then I have the Lorac Baked Matte Satin Blush in Velvet Rope. Which, this blush, I love. I love it. It is such a pretty color. And I think it's one of those blushes that could be any season. Like, it's it's so pretty. And it's really kind of perfect. Uh, it's, it's just, it's perfect. I love that one. That was another TJ Maxx find, so. Okay, then we have my NARS blushes. This is the NARS Sarah Moon blush, which is the only of these blushes that I bought at full price. Uh, but this is um, Isadora. And 
it is I, I would say this is like a cranberry color with just like the slightest like gold sheen to it I don't know but this is a really pretty um, like winter blush winter fall kind of color it's lovely I really like that one. It's a it's a wee bit dark for me, but if I'm um, not heavy-handed, I can wear it. Then I have NARS Sin, which of course is the cool-toned, plummy color with gold fleck in it. NARS Sin. Then we have Amore, which is a matte blush, which mine is looking beat. I need to wear this one more. It might be a bit similar to Velvet Robe. No, nah, it's pinkier. It's pinky. But I do need to wear that one more. It'd be good right now. And then I have uh, Deep Throat. Which, this is the one I want to compare to the Buxom. Blush. Let me make a comparison. Okay, so we have... Deep throat, and then we have. Oh, these aren't going to be anything alike. Okay, well they're similar. Deep throat's here, and then we have the buxom here. So basically, the buxom has chunkier glitter. It has more of the golden sheen, but their their tone is basically the same. So I think I will um, pass the Buxom on to someone. It's kind of an odd man out in my collection. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pass that one on. Then I have this Milani, what are these called? Color Harmony in Berry Rays. This is a product that I've always like looked at and been I just think it's so pretty. Uh but I never really you know picked it up <laughs> I mean until recently. And you swirl it together and it makes this like non-blush color. It kind of is just a sheen, but then of course you can concentrate it into the berry colors and whatever. But I really like this as a blush topper uh and again bringing it under the eyes. Uh, so I really like this product. It's not, it's not really a blush, <laughs> unless you concentrate it specifically, like, down here. And then you kind of get more of these, like, pinky tones. Uh, but it really is pretty. It makes kind of a, a really light pinky golden sheen. So, I do like it. <sighs> okay, maybe I can move these down a little bit and smooch scooch some things around. Okay. Now I have... Oh, I need to put my jewelry back. There. Okay. Now I have uh, a cream blush and a liquid blush. This is my Jordana Triple Play. And this is supposed to be a blush and lip product. Man, ugh, that's such a pretty color. I, I just need to use this more. Like, it's such a pretty color. Look at that. Look at that. And it's really pigmented. It's really creamy. Um, it does not work as a lip color on me. But it's a really pretty cheek color. Um, and because I've been using, like, BB creams more and stuff, I just, I just need to utilize that. It's a good product, so... And the other thing I have is my Juicy Pang blusher from uh, my Boutique box. And this actually makes a really pretty blush, too. I've used it a few times since I got it. 
I didn't need to use that much as an example, but you have the little applicator and then it makes like a blush stain, which that's totally going to stain my hand and I won't be able to do swatches, but anyway, it makes a really pretty wash of color. I'm going to try to get it off before it stains. It stained a little bit. That's fine. Okay. So, for other blushes, I have kind of two palettes and then a few singles. So, I have the Anastasia Blush Kit, and this was kind of the lighter, which one was this? Radiant. Radiant Blush Kit. Uh, I really like this one, so I am keeping it. Let me swatch it for you. Eh, it has uh, shade names, but who cares? Uh... I really used this top, this first shade, this pink with glitter the least, but I really do like the other shades a lot. Um, I need to use it more. I just have so many blushes and I didn't really get rid of very many, but that's how it goes. I just really like blush, you guys. Um, yeah, so that is what it is. <laughs> I just like blush, okay. Y'all are going to have to just forgive me. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the Jordana. I'm not going to use it. I'm just not. I have to be realistic. I'm not going to use it. Which makes me sad, but I'm not going to. Okay. Um, then we have these few blushes in my Z palette. Now, I have this little bitty baby sample of a Makeup Forever blush, which uh, I really like this color. But it's a stupid size. It's so small, I can't get my brush in it. And uh, I'm throwing it away. Also, Makeup Forever made me mad, and I'm uh, not really buying from them right now. So, <laughs> they've just been pulling stuff, and I don't like it. Uh, then this is the Balm, not Swiss Dot, the Balm, uh, what are they called? I don't remember what they're called. Instain, Instain Blush in Argyle. And man, you guys, this is one of those blushes I'm really upset about. It fell, oops, it fell out of the packaging as soon as I bought it, like when it was shipped to me. And it's just too hot pink. It's just too hot pink. Like, I just can't... Like, these bubblegum pinky colors just don't look good on me. And, I don't know. Because it fell out, I don't really feel like I can give it away to someone. I think I need to glue it back in to its case. I don't know. Um, then I have these two. I think this one's from a Pixie palette. And this one is... Just like a, really it was a, a highlight from something else, but I like it as a blush topper. And it really does make a really pretty blush topper. And really the only reason I'm going to keep them is because I have room in that palette and it's not taking up space that I need to put anything else in right now. But uh, if I do, they'll probably both go because I just don't reach for them. But again, like I, this this isn't real estate that's going. To, this isn't real estate that's going uh, to anything else right now. So, you know, I don't really need to worry about it. Okay. Woo, sorry. I keep bumping this. So next, I have. Um, the Becca Sun Chaser palette. Now, this I found at TJ Maxx, which made me so happy. It was like 15 bucks, and it's my it was my first Becca product, which yeah, um, and I love it. The bronzer looks super dark, and it is really dark for me, but it actually looks really pretty on my cheeks when I diffuse it. This blush is gorgeous, and then this is opal, which is a little dark for me, but I could kind of get away with it. Uh, and 
I just really like this palette a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Like, it's just a really nice palette, and I like to travel with it. It's great for the summer. Uh, and yeah, I've just super, super enjoyed that. So that's not leaving. Okay. I have these two Alginist um, Luminizing Drops. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the rosé one, which is a pinky one, because I've had it for a long time. Um, and it's just kind of old. And I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep this other one, um, which is pearl, because I'm, I'm not really using this as a highlighter, but really to mix into matte foundations to give them more luminosity. Um, and I'm going to see if I use it for that. If I don't... It's going to go, uh, but I do find that sort of product useful for me if I need to, you know, add a little more sheen to something. Because I don't really like pure matte foundations. Next we have some bronzers, which I don't have very many because I don't really bronze. Uh, but I have the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer, which I kind of hate this packaging, but... This bronzer is a little yellowish, but it, it's about the same tone as the um, Butter Bronzer. But I like this formula better. So I'm going to keep this one. Then I have the Milani Baked Bronzer in Glow, which is so glowy. <laughs> like, whoa hate that little brush. Oh, did that pick up? Yeah. It's not super picking up on my hand, but it's a really glowy uh, bronzer, and it's not really my favorite, so I might pass that one on to um, I haven't had it for very long, but I really just don't find myself reaching for it. It's just not really my style. Um, yeah, I thought I would like it more than I did. Then I have this e.l.f. bronzer, which has been quite loved. But it is getting weird, like, hard pan on it. The tone is probably better for my skin, but I don't know. I just don't reach for it, and I think I'm just going to let it go. I'm actually going to chunk that one because it's so old. Then I have two NYX powders. I have a Nude Tude, which is technically a blush, but I use it more as a bronzer. And I'm going to keep it because it has a little more of a red tone to it, which for me, I kind of need. It's a little more neutral. And then I have Taupe, which is a good contour shade for me. It's nice and neutral. So I'm going to keep those two because otherwise I'm like lugging around contour palettes which I don't really need. So it's good to have, like, you know, a small, compact thing. <laughs> okay. Then I have this Pure Sculpt powder, which is a little bitty contour bronze situation. And I'm going to keep this, uh, even though I really only use this contour shade. I really need to try out these bronzers, but uh, that one's definitely too intense for me, but I do like the other shades that are a lot lighter, <laughs> but that bronzer is intense. Okay, these are just uh, powders. Of course, I'm keeping my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is an Alginist uh, setting powder. 
like finishing powder and it's color correcting and I like that as well so I'm keeping that. I only have two like finishing powders so and I think I can fit my cushion foundation in there now too. There. That works out. Okay, on to my highlighters. So, uh, I'll start from, ooh, actually let's move us down a little bit so I'm not reaching so much. Okay, we've moved down a little bit so we can get to my highlighters. We have first my Smashbox palette in Pearl Spotlight Palette. This was in my recent Summer Favorites, was it Summer Favorites? I think so, uh, video. And yes, I love this little palette. Uh, it is so pretty, especially when I just mix them all together is what I'm going to do. For some reason, like, my camera does not do a great job of picking up highlight, but man, I love this highlight so much. It's really pretty. Take my word for it. It's really pretty. So I'm keeping that one. I've got this NYX uh, highlighter in uh, Ritualistic. And, eh, eh, I think this one might go. It's just not my favorite. And I will tell you why. I have this NYX highlighter now, which is the Born to Glow highlight in Stand Your Ground. And it is just, yeah. Besides the packaging, it is superior in every way. And it's basically the same color, but it's a lot less powdery, and it's like the same tone. So I think the other one is going to go, and I'm going to keep that one instead. Yeah, the formula is just better. Um, I have this Milani one, the Milani Strobe Light in Afterglow, which... This, I think, is one of the best highlights in the drugstore. It's so, so nice. Again, I wish... I wish I could get this to look good. I wish I could get it to look good. My, uh, my box lights just really diffuse the light a little too much, I think. Okay. Next, I have the Wet n' Wild, uh, whatever, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow, which this is the only one of these I've kept, and I've had quite a few of them. Ugh, that's so pretty. Like, uh, oh, so pretty. Keeping, 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 keeping. Okay, here's my favorite Makeup Geek uh, highlighter. Uh, this is also the only one I've kept out of the Makeup Geek highlighters, and I have had, I've only had three of them, but this is the one I've kept, and this is, um, shoot, Luster. <laughs> I can't think, y'all. I've had, I've had a few days. Luster is the one on the right, and it is so pretty. It looks like it would be a bit dark, but it's not. <laughs> I love that one so much. So much. Okay, here is Urban Decay's Sin. Another one that looks a bit dark in the pan, 
but it is not. <laughs> Y'all. Like, you see that glow? Do you see that glow? I don't know if you see it. It's so pretty. Now we have my um, Black Moon Cosmetics Moonlighters. We have Jellyfish first, which is the blue. Jellyfish. Which is so fun. I just love how it actually is it, it is actually iridescent and I love that. There's no white base and when you diffuse it it actually shifts out of focus and then pops back in with blue. I love that. Uh, and then we have Cat Shark which is the violet. Which again, same thing, actual iridescence. Which is so cool. I need to break those out again. I haven't been doing I haven't been doing like super creative looks lately. It's just it's slipping away. But then we have squid, which is the white. And I really like this white highlighter a lot. It's like not the most creative highlighter in the world, but it is really pretty. I know you can't see it very well. Get a little bit. A little bit extra. It's just so hard to pick up a highlighter on camera. And then I have my Becca Slim Light in Pearl, which is actually quite similar to Squid. And I like that for like inner corner stuff and just simple BB cream or nothing days where I can just dab it and go. But honestly, that will probably end up getting decluttered someday because. It's just not as convenient as powder. I'm just being honest. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to leave it out so you don't see my garbage. <laughs> um, okay, now I have my highlighters in this single palette. Really, this is more of a swatch party, I think, than a declutter, but, eh, you know, it is what it is. The This is a combination of... Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette, which is what's on the sides. And then here in the middle is the Bella Pierre highlighting palette 1 and 2 with some thrown away. And then this is a uh, Luxe highlighter here. So I'm going to start with the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit. Whoops. which I haven't used in quite a while, but it is a really, really pretty highlighter set. You can find, uh, at least I've seen a lot of them at my TJ Maxx, so check yours out. That's the first three shades from that one. I really like using this purple shade for... Um, fun looks. The problem is like now that I have the Black Moon purple and blue like I just don't really need those two. But I might use them for like layering. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Again Bella Pierre is here. Which these were their answers to um, the Moonchild. So you have like an iridescent focus, 
and then like a blue and a green, which I haven't super used any of those except for kind of funky looks, but I didn't really expect to, and it was super cheap, so it's whatever. This first one is from Luxy, and then the rest are Bella Pierre. I really, really like this Luxie one and this one from Bella Pierre. This, like, light pink one is very pretty. And we have these. That one's real chunky. Let's move that out. Out of those, I think I'm actually going to throw away these two. Because they just aren't good shades for me. They just were too, too gold and too dark. So, those are going to go. And last, for face things, I have the Kat Von D shade and light palette, which I've talked about um, Kat Von D on my channel and that whole thing. And I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm done. I don't contour enough to make this worth keeping to me. And if I did, I would find something else to contour with, like my NYX powder. Um, so I'm going to pass this on. I'm going to get rid of it. And uh, I, I found it at TJ Maxx anyway. So it's not a loss to me. I don't use it enough to justify keeping it. So, bye. Freeze up room in my collection. Uh, and I think, I think that's it. Oh, you can see my trash again. I do want to declutter some more things, uh, <laughs> but they're going to have to wait. <laughs> but I, I decluttered a few things, you guys, and that's what counts, right? I got rid of some stuff, so don't be too mad at me. That was a little bit of progress. So I'm going to scooch that down and put those two together. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember that you are beautiful and you are loved. Until next time, guys. Bye.